hi everyone welcome back i hope you're doing well and you had a great great thanksgiving holiday um, i'm just going to show you how you can convert a formula from percentages to weights um, this is extremely important when you are formulating your hair your skincare um, so I'm just going to show you how I do the calculation so if this is something you are struggling with this video is going to be very helpful so let's jump right in and if this is your first time stopping by my name is Esther and I make DIY hair and skincare videos and I also sell my products on my website and I also teach formulating classes online. I'll have everything linked in the description box. Um, so let's jump right in. So before you make any product, any hair skincare product, you need to know how to convert your formula from percent to weight um, because you are going to be weighing out your ingredients so formulation is a science it's very precise it's very exact so you are going to be using a scale so that's why you need to know how to do the conversion how to do the calculation um, so the first thing you need to know um, to do this is your batch size so that's the first thing you need to determine when you are formulating basically how much do you want to make that is your batch size the amount of product you want to make is your batch size so you need to know that first and then you need to determine the weighted unit so basically do you want to work in ounces or do you want to use grams uh, my preference is grams a lot of people use grams um, but you do have a select few that prefer to work in ounces so my preference is grams so you determine which one works for you so know your batch size and then decide the weighted unit you want to work with so in my formula example here i have a face wash formula that adds up to a hundred percent this is just a general example um, so i'm going to show you how you can convert this to the unit of measurement in this case i'm using grams so i'm going to be converting um, distilled water which is at 66 percent to grams so in my example i'm going to calculate distilled water 66 percent and my batch size that i want to make is going to be 450 grams so all you're going to do is multiply 66 percent multiplied by 450 grams and that's going to give you 297 grams all i did was put these numbers in my calculator and i came up with 297 grams now you can also go to google and just type 66 percent multiplied by 450 and it's going to pop out with a calculator and it's going to give you the answer that's going to be 297 so I know many people don't like to do math, so you can do it this way or you can use a calculator. I use my phone, so you can do it that way. So I'm just going to repeat the process for desoglucoside. In this formula, it was at 10%. Um, you're just going to multiply 10% by your batch size. That's how much you want to make and that's 450 grams and that's going to give you 45 grams so still the same process the numbers are changing but still the same process and i repeated that for my forming oats which was at 15 percent um, so 15 percent multiplied by your total batch size of 450 grams and that's going to give 67.5 grams so choose whichever method works for you if you want to use your calculator you can use that um, or you can just go plug those numbers online so if i go on google i'm just going to plug in 15 percent um, multiplied by 450 and that's still going to give me 67.5 grams so you can also go on google and just type formula percent converter and it comes up with so many different ones i'm going to be using the percentage calculator and it's still the same process just plug in your numbers i'm plugging in 15 percent for my forming oats 
and I'm plugging in my batch size of 450 and that gives me 67.5 and I also plugged in my distilled water percentage of uh, 66% of 450 grams which is my batch size so the only thing that changes is just the individual percentages your batch size is not going to change um, so once you do that calculation you're going to get the um, weighted amounts which is what you're going to weigh out for your formula if you don't want to do any of that you can go to wholesale supplies plus they have different calculators on there you want to choose the batch size calculator which is going to convert your percentages to weight just follow the directions it's super easy to use and you can also use this uh, method to convert from percentages to weights All right, friends, I hope you have found this video helpful, useful. I've gotten several requests to do this, so that's why I decided to do this video. Um, but this is something you absolutely need to know if you plan on formulating properly and formulating your hair, your skincare products, um, how to convert from the percentages to weights. So now the choice is yours. You can determine which weight of measurement you want to use, if you want to use grams or ounces. Um, but as always, please don't forget to subscribe if you've not. Don't forget to turn on your notifications so you don't miss any new videos I upload. And also don't forget to like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.